Hello guys, welcome to Britech Mechatronic. Um, today what we have here is um, DSM for 205 Mercedes. This is the old one, which is this one. And this is a new one. Great. Hello guys, um, welcome to Britech Mechatronic. Um, please can you like, subscribe and share the link or the video for others to see um so what we have here is um um, um today what we have is um mercedes-benz dsm this is an old ds uh, dsm pcb and this is a new one um dsm is also known as intelligence select module or ism um i want to show you something over here um what i'm going to do is that i'm going to clone this one with this and i'm using this cgdi um cgdi pro to do the job um let me firstly open the app the software so it's open um when it is done i will show you something let me quickly show you something from this session um maybe it will be difficult for you to see over here but um i will try and you know type it on the under this thing i don't know if you can if you can see 5m um you could see if there is 5m 256 there is um there is 5m um 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 um, um this is okay this is this is um 3m 25g 3m 25g it's not 5m um, <clears throat> and this one is um 1m 1m 12g uh, this is 1m 125 This is 1M125. Um, the reason why I'm trying to show you this, and this is, let me let me show you this processor. The processor is what um, um the processor is 9 M M C 9S12. The processor is MC 9S12. The reason why I'm showing you all this thing is that um sometimes you you write this detail into this one and the, uh, when you plug it or when you fix it on the car the it won't highlight um, the packing will not show let me put it that way the packing will not show on the dashboard simply me the the, the, the simply term the simplest term or the sim uh, simplest meaning to it that uh, the data does not match the distance that is why so um we will go we will quickly go to the um, this session which is cheap then we come to uh, this is mcu that is all right then we go to our selection um, the selections will we, we head straight to motorola and our mcu is a motorola processor so then we quickly run to down then there we will find um there is this processor that can read this thing um yes and we will quickly find this one as you can see 9s12 xe 384 uh um, never mind it's the same as this thing i don't know if this is 9s mc 9s12 xeq it will work with it so we click on it then we click on the diagram um we this is 144 the pins are 144 so we use 144 then um we click on full to that's the diagram what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to use my multimeter 
I'm going to use the multimeter to check the points. So that is what I'm going Hello to do. Hello guys. Um, so I use my multimeter to test every point. Um, I have done the same thing on this one too, so that the work won't take me long. So I've done the same thing for this one. So you use the multimeter to test every point. <coughs> I've connected it, as you can see over here. Um, I have done it correctly. You use your multimeter, you test every point. So now, um, and the, the chip is not 144, it's 112. How, one, one, one will ask, how will you know your chip is 112? You will count from here, you will count from this section, which is one, and up to the down will give you 28 or something. Let, let me scroll, let me be sure. Yeah, it's 28. So you multiply 28 by four, it will give you 112. Then we are going back, we are going to read the entire data. Um, it gives us three sessions, so we will see if um, all the data will be read or something. You know, I have been doing this. Um, this D D DSM, I have, been, I have been reading the data, or I have been doing this job for a while now, but today I decided to make a video of it. So I'm reading it. Yes, and one thing is that um, CGDI Pro, this 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 tool, um, is is one of the fastest in terms of reading. It's very fast. Uh, it's very very fast, um, and I, I love using it to read um, um, such details because of how fast it is. That is why I don't use the one hundred X. So this is. DSM code EPRO. Save. We click on D flash to see um, uh, the D flash. I don't think there is a data in the D flash. If you could see over here, this means that there is no data in it. As you can see, there is no data zero data so we click on p flash then we read on we read the p flash so the mask as you can see um, um the chip id is c 82 it marks is 2m25 or 3m25 and i say i indicate earlier on the mask of this uh, the old mcu which is this one that the old i'm reading is 3m 25g and the new one i'm going to use is 1m 20 1m 1 125 1m 125 it will still read it but the problem is that um when you go and fix the the dsm on the distance um what do you call um when you go and fix the dsm it is either the the distance will not highlight the pack will not highlight on the dashboard the, the 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 meaning is that the the this the dsm uh the data being right on to that dsm is not it's not uh good that is why it is being given that um problem so um we save this one as p flash p flash hey p flash it's not flash p flash um, DSM old data P flash DSM old data P flash and then we hit save so this one is done the only thing I'll do I will plug my this thing from this session then I will disorder the wires from it then reach wire this thing on it so I will disorder the old one from the PCB this is the old one and this is the new one and this is the new one so, uh, we are doing re renovations in the shop so that is why so we click on eprom then hit on epre um, 
this means that um some of the this thing has not been so dead well so i have to so um i have corrected the this thing as i said if you if you are reading and you have such errors that that means the the so the soldering has not been done well so you need to check it so i have checked and then coming back to read the eprom again as you can see it has read the id successful then you click ok then this is new one this one we are not going to you know say we will just save it like this this is the eprom um you click on p flash you see um the, the first one as you can see there was um um 2m and um the other one is 2m or 3m you see this is one this is this is 0 1 0 m 1 1 2 s and this is 1 m or 1 m 1 2 s that, that's the chip so um uh, moreover when when you write the 2 m or the 2 or 3 m data onto the 0 or 1 m sometimes it won't work you you have the distance uh, the the distance will go off the the p will go off it won't highlight on pack so um, i'm just trying i'm just doing it to see whether it will it won't work but i'm just doing it so we click save um we are not going to save this as, as anything we just click on save just like that let me show you i want to read the eprom and show you something so that you oh no this is the eprom uh, there's no need to save it again you can see the chassis this is the chassis that's the chassis of the car uh, 55s this is 205 as i said uh, it was you know fitted on uh, w205 that's the chassis for the new ism the old ism i'm going to write the eprom and this is the old eprom and you could see the differences have you see huge differences so um uh, we click on right never mind just click ok As you can see, the writing has been completely successful. It has been written. If you read the EEPROM, we are reading the EEPROM. You could see that it has changed to the new one. Then we click here, then click back here, then read it. You could see it has changed. We go back to write the um, what do you call the p-flash most of the time the p-flash um they are they are almost the same or they are still they are the same let me say it that way so the p-flash is writing you see um it will take a very long time to write this thing and um I don't want to make the video very long. I wanted to pause. Let me pause. Yeah. So we are almost done. It is done. What what I'm going to do? This mark. Hey, please. So we click on Hebron. Then we click on read to check if our previous data has not been updated. So it is done <coughs> it is done um, I'm coming I want to do something um, EPROM. I'm just do I'm just comparing the data I just want to compare the data um, for you all to see as you can see the differences all the red lines are the difference in the system uh, in the data i will close this and open the p flash for us all to 
also see the difference in the P flash. Um, you can see the P flash. The, the, there are slight changes. Um, let me scroll down. This is where the, this is where the, as you can see, that is where the changes are. That is where the buy changes are. So that is it. I'm going, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to fix the this thing on my. I, I'm going to fix the DSM on the car on my, myself to check on the two. So I will, I will show you the afterwards.